Who's your money on? I haven't got my money on anything. I'm a loyal Tory and I shall support the, uh, a selected candidate. But it's, uh, it's rather a, a sort of shameful expose, isn't it? Um, in a way, dirty laundry being aired and this sort of reality television, which I'm afraid I'm not very keen on, uh, is, is happening for our very eyes. I think the one good thing, though, uh, is that we are a multicultural party, far more multicultural than the other parties, which uh, will stand us in very good stead when we come to an election. Yes. And how did you make of... Uh, I understand you won't tell us who you think will win or who your money is on, so to speak, but how do you think they performed yesterday and indeed um, in the first debate? Because this has been their chance to show the public and perhaps other MPs their, their true colours and showcase themselves a little bit. Well, I think Tom was right. Uh, they warmed up a little bit on the second debate uh, from the bits that I saw. I, most, of my, most of it I hide behind a cushion uh, when it comes on. Uh, they did warm up a bit in the second debate. It got a little bit more hostile, which was unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure where that's going to end up. Um, at the moment, uh, it's all slightly irrelevant because they're appealing to an electorate of about 400 MPs rather than the general public. And it's really the last two that will... Uh, the, how they conduct themselves would be relevant. Yeah, I, I mean, the personal attacks aren't a particularly good look, are they? And, you know, that's a win for Labour, which kind of pains me to say, isn't it, really? Because, you know, they now have a lot of ammunition and the, and the Tories keep giving it to them. Yes, and, and this whole thing has been about Labour ammunition, and as I've had the pleasure of being on your show quite a lot, um, you know, I've said uh, we, we really don't need this sort of thing. The country has got all sorts, all manner of problems, not least it's going to have a problem with heat. Uh, and then there's a big celebration tomorrow of Mercy's birthday, which the government mm. will no doubt have to organise. But the, um, the, the, the whole, uh, the, you know, the infrastructure is going to be creaking over the next few days. Uh, I've just flown back into the UK the airports are a complete mess. Uh, the planes are, 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 are late. Mm -hmm. um, we've got an economic crisis round the corner, and yet the Labour, the Conservative Party, are airing their dirty washing, yeah. which is never a good thing.